Object Placer 2 is here. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, this is Omar Balfiki. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, welcome to this channel where I create game development tutorials and from time to time I upload my short films. If you're interested, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. In this video, we will take a look at um, the new update of Object Placer. I've added a couple of features, added new ones and modified the existing ones and improved them. Okay, so if I select a game object, um, I can start placing objects just like before. But the only difference is that previously we had to select whether we're um, selecting a game object or a timeline clip. Now it's a smart selection. So if I click place object, I can place it anywhere directly. And the other thing that you might have noticed is that we're using a mesh gizmo instead of the uh, previous generic cube gizmo. So now you see the actual mesh of the game object. And if I select a timeline and select the uh, timeline clip, I can hit place object and it will work just like before in addition with the mesh gizmo. This is pretty much more helpful and uh, straightforward. Another new feature we have is boundary offset. So if I select one of these game objects and I just disable it and I'm going to disable lookup, look what happens. Okay, it goes through the wall. Previously, we would have used the offset and just adjusted from here. But now with the boundary offset, we use the uh, object's boundary to create that offset, which is a smarter approach. So now it will not go through walls. I'm going to re-enable lookup again and go to the second feature, which is duplicate game object. This feature is only available for game objects. It's not available for um, timeline clips. So we can duplicate game objects. If I click on it, I can duplicate it anywhere I want. And that takes us to um, the two new features, but they're still in beta. So I'm going to show beta features. They're only for game objects. So the first thing is drag to scale. If I enable that and just try to place the object, before I release the mouse button, I'm just going to drag up or down and you will see the object scaling. Then we have repetitive duplication. So once you duplicate, you can keep on duplicating until you stop that. So if I click here, click and drag, I can keep on duplicating as many objects as I want. Then you can just cancel the duplication. So that's basically it, the new update. I've worked a lot on it and I hope that you uh, find it helpful. If you got any new ideas or you're facing any issues, you can reach out to me whether down in the comments or um, Discord or any of the social media that you prefer. And this is the end of the video. This is Omar Bafiki. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.